at an event that is long past his campaign's expiration date. Newt Gingrich is scheduled to suspend his presidential campaign at a press conference Wednesday afternoon in Virginia. All of us have an obligation I think to do whatever we can to defeat Barack Obama, Gingrich said in a video released Tuesday that did not mention Mitt Romney. I want you to know that we were going to continue out there on the road. Call us and I will be talking, campaigning, making speeches, doing everything we can to help defeat Barack Obama. Although Mitt Romney has not yet reached the number of delegates needed to officially clinch the Republican presidential nomination, he became the presumptive nominee weeks ago, when former Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum announced an end to his candidacy. Gingrich, however, stayed on course, while his campaign drowned in debt and his chances for the nomination dropped to near zero. From when he first announced his intention to run in May 2011 through his triumphant win in the South Carolina primary, Gingrich insisted that his mastery of conservative issues and his vast legislative experience was enough to beat President Barack Obama, but he failed to capture the support of the Republican primary electorate. While Tim Pawlenty and Michelle Bachman of Minnesota rode high in the summer of 2011, Gingrich was written off as a pretender. When Texas Governor Rick Perry branded himself as the conservative alternative to former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, Gingrich trudged on. There are lots of bunny rabbits who run through, Gingrich would later say. I am the tortoise. I just take one step at a time. Gingrich began his presidential journey with some confusing reversals on major issues. In March 2011 it appeared the nation was about to engage in military action in Libya. Gingrich urged President Obama to get involved. But when the United States sent air support to Libya, Gingrich criticized the president, saying he would not have engaged. In May of last year, Gingrich was a vocal opponent of Republican House Budget Chairman Paul Ryan's Medicare reform proposal, calling it right-wing social engineering. When he subsequently apologized, he said anyone who quoted his comments was acting dishonestly. Gingrich was also criticized for his personal life in the campaign's early days. Politico reported that Gingrich at one time personally owed hundreds of thousands of dollars to the jewel restore Tiffany & Co. Financial disclosure forms showed the debt had been paid in full. He also briefly put the campaign on hiatus so he could take a luxury cruise in Greece with his third wife, Callista. Gingrich repeatedly stressed that he would ultimately be the nominee. His stump speeches focused not on the other candidates in the race, but on his own ideas for changing Washington, rather than, as he put it, managing the decay. At the 2011 debates, where Gingrich shined, he refused to attack fellow Republicans when given the opportunity, channeling his vitriol toward Obama, or even the debate moderator. It wasn't until the end of 2011, when hopes for Herman Cain faded amid allegations of sexual harassment, that many Republicans began to give Gingrich a serious look. With Cain's popularity on the decline, Gingrich's poll numbers skyrocketed. By that point, Several of the staff members who abandoned him in June for other campaigns had returned. It's good to have some old friends come back, Gingrich's spokesman R.C. Hammond said at the time. But the campaign suffered from the lack of staff and resources Gingrich did not establish an office in Iowa until mid-December.